Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. My name is Adam. I uh, founded a creative studio here in Los Angeles called Sandwich. And I'm a tremendous fan of the Luna Display. So my friends at Astropad who make Luna Display asked me to make a little video to show you uh, how I use it. So I'm going to do that. Luna Display is simple. It lets you connect your iPad to your Mac and use it as a second display. You can do this either wirelessly through Wi-Fi or you can do it with a USB, which makes the connection even more stable. Um, there are obvious reasons for this, just for the same as any reason you would um, use a second display for your Mac. More screen real estate. But I needed it for something more non-obvious, so they added a feature to this latest version of the Mac app that made it um, absolutely a game changer for me, and I want to show you that now. Like most of you out there, I'm working from home right now and spending a lot more time on video calls. So I started thinking a lot about how I could make those calls better. I added some lights, better mic, then leveled way up when I added a real DSLR style camera to my setup. I put a real lens on it and my shot on video calls has beautiful depth of field and incredible sharpness. Does it make me sound smarter? No. No, it doesn't. Now, we all know that eye contact is very important when you're talking to someone in real life, so it should be equally important on a video conversation as well. Unfortunately, unless your camera is right where your screen is, you're almost never looking directly at the people you're talking to. You're either looking down below the lens, or if you're on an iPad, off to the side, like this. And this is bad, because it takes you out of the conversation. It takes the other person out of the conversation as well. Luckily, there's, there's a solution to this. It's called a teleprompter, and I'm looking at one right now. It's a very simple system. The display I'd like to see when I look into the lens sits below the camera, facing up, and reflects into a diagonal piece of glass known as a beam splitter. I use my iPad as the display, and this way, what's on the iPad is reflected back to me from the beam splitter. It's very cool. So if you're a news person like Ron Burgundy, you can read words off I'm the display. For documentary subjects, the display yeah, shows like, the people on the other side of the conversation like, so you can make eye contact. Cool, be cool, be cool. So this is where the lunar display comes in. It's this little hardware dongle, and I knew I wanted a hardware solution, not just a software solution like the one that Apple introduced some time ago, clearly inspired by our friends at Luna Display. Cough, cough. This thing plugs into your Mac. Real easy. On your iPad, you launch the Luna Display app. On your Mac, you launch the Luna Display app. Seat this iPad into the teleprompter so it's facing up. Now I put my Zoom call on the iPad display and I can see it on the teleprompter reflection. Uh-oh, there's a problem. My image is upside down and backwards. That means I can still see the people on the conversation, but it's really hard to use as an interface backwards. The cursor is backwards, the text is backwards. It creates a ton of friction, nearly unusable, especially if you're at the end of a Zoom call and you're frantically searching for that end button. Okay, bye. Okay, good to talk to you. Okay, I'm just gonna... And this is the problem that Astropad solved in their latest version by adding something called teleprompter mode. I'm going to show you that. Go into preferences, go into advanced, and there it is. Enable teleprompter mode. Oh, so dreamy. I check this box and boom! There I am. Everything appears correct. I can use it functionally as a second display. I can move the cursor around. I can read text. Beautiful. Lunar Display is honestly one of the best products in software or hardware that I've seen in the last five years. Like I said, it's a game changer.